This is gonna be the last day everybody hear from me, bro. This is gonna be the last day y'all hear from me, bro. I'm sorry. There's just been too much going on. Police out here. She did. I've been being played with mentally, all type of shit, bro. I, I'm not straight, bro. I'm not crazy. But it's a lot of shit I can't take, bro. Tell them motherfuckers I've been dealing with shit. This is attention to everybody, bro. You have a nigga around you or anything like that, bro? Be mindful of what these niggas be going through, bro. Don't nobody like to be mindful of that shit then be playing games with a motherfucker, bro. Like I said, I'm sorry, bro. I be trying, but shit just don't be good enough. Lord, I'm sorry I couldn't. I couldn't. I'm sorry. I know you get your, your strongest battles to your strongest angels. I failed you and everybody else. Please continue to watch over my son as he lived his life. And I, I, I pray best for his mama. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. I'm finna end this video, but Sean, any money you owe me, bro, give it to her parents. Any money you owe me, give it to her parents. And always check up on my son, bro. Stay in contact with her. I love everybody. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you, that mental health shit is just, it's something else, bro. And I, I love everybody, bro. I love everybody that love me, bro. Hey, I'm in apartment 214. Continue to search for more clues up. in a shooting in Brown Deer yesterday that left three people dead and a fourth person injured. Bruce Harrison spoke with the family of a young mother who was among those shot and killed. Ariana Reed's brother, Aaron, left Milwaukee. He was afraid to start a family in a violent city. But violence brought him home yesterday in a rush when his sister was shot and killed. It's like a, it's like a hole that I ain't gonna never be able to close. I'm saying it's like a close family. Big brother Aaron watched out for Ari as she was known by her family. You know, I was always there to protect her every day. You know what I'm saying? Any questions, any schoolyard bullies, we went to school together. We seven to eight years apart, so I was always the one she came to when any, anything came up. Now he's here to speak for her. She was the life. You know what I'm saying? She was the life of the family. Anytime we came together, we always looked for my little sister to keep the joy going on around us. Ari's family says her ex-boyfriend and father of her child shot her to death. She had stopped by his home to drop off their two-year-old son, Egypt. The suspect's brother tells TMJ4 News that man's name is Larvell Huddleston. Police believe the suspect shot and killed himself. Ari's family is struggling to accept that gun violence in the city has touched them. Or to hit home like the way his hitting home, it's just it's, it's diabolical. You know, it's really diabolical, and we are hurting so bad. Ari was studying to be a registered nurse. She also ran a small design company. Her mother Tracy told us Ari loved her family. Together. They'll raise Egypt. Any and everything that he could possibly need in one life, he can always call me. I'll always come back home in a heartbeat. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. And police have not yet identified the other person killed or another man who was injured in the shooting, but police say they believe both those people were trying to help out after a deadly domestic dispute. Perfect.